Hi, I'm Jacob Cebulski. Welcome to Rapid Miner Data Mining and Data Visualization. Welcome back. In the previous lesson, we managed to create the cumulative distribution chart of students results in G3 depending on who is the guardian. The problem with this chart is that those lines are not directly comparable because they depict the absolute cumulative uh, distribution of one chart against the other. Um, to deal with that we have to create the cumulative relative distribution and that means that we'll have a scale from 0 to 1 for each of those charts separately and when they overlay they will be directly comparable. How can we do that? To do this, instead of counting each um, observations with it in its respective bin, I'll be adding the fraction um, of how, what is the fraction of a single observation or the total the fraction of all observations within the bin as against the total number. Okay, to do that I need to do a bit of work. I'm going to count all of the um, observations within the category of Guardian. So this is a count within the group of the Guardian. So I want those three counts because I can then use them to create new attribute. So I have the count of number of data points with father as a guardian, mother and other. And then I'm simply going to join this information with every single instance of data, original data. Now what's going to happen here is that I'm going to join those three examples here with every single example, original example of student results depending on the guardian attribute. So I need to be able to say that the merging attribute is on left and right exactly the same and when the values are exactly the same the join is going to occur. Let's see if it works. Have G1, G2, G3, the guardian and the count. As you can see the count is exactly the same for every instance where the guardian is father and then we have a different value for the mother. It's a count within this category of every single attribute with this value. Now what I'm going to do is to uh, replace that count with the fraction, one over the count, because then if I add all the fractions within each category I'll get one. I could be adding them in a cumulative relative distribution chart. So to do that I'll generate a new attribute. Generate attribute where I'm going to create a new one. It's a normalized attribute and the result is 1 divided by count g3 apply apply and see what we get. Okay, we have a guardian count new attribute g3 norm. It's a fraction of 1 over 90 here and then 1 over 273. Now I'm going to recreate the chart which I produced before, advanced chart. That's what this chart was before. Um, let's close it because it's an old chart. We have some leftovers from the last run. Let's run the new um, process. Genome statistics advanced chart. It looks like I have a chart here already. Um, let's change it slightly. What we're going to use now is instead of 
plotting count G3, I plot G3 normalized values. I'm going to replace that attribute. Nothing changed because I'm still counting those attributes. But what if I, instead of counting them, I'll add them up? Well, now we have a cumulative relative distribution. Let's change the title. Relative distribution which allows us to compare one distribution against the other. It's interesting now the steepness of the curve in different areas in indicates how fast the distribution grows um, in that given area in the range of G3 values. Its yellow line, which is the other, it actually shows that uh, there's many more uh, values between 8 and 9 and 10 in the other than in father or mother uh, attribute, um, guardian attribute. So um, it's a very clear picture. It's much better than uh, the original distribution. Um, it does not falsify information um, as it does the case with the density curves. That means when we replace the distribution with a normal distribution, um, it's informative. Uh, it gives you new insights. And it's a chart which does not exist as a standard chart in Rapid Miner. So, cumulative relative distribution in Rapid Miner. Thank you. And in this way, we have just reached the end of the first segment, looking at the statistical analysis of data with Rapid Miner. In the next segment, we will be looking at something more complex, such as regression modeling.